We'll take the sound of nails on a chalkboard over these. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most annoying TV show theme songs. For this list, we're looking at the most irritating, offensively aggravating television theme songs that may or may not have made you want to throw your TV out the window at one point or another. Number 10, Hammerman. Whenever there's a crime, some crooks are gonna do time. They all better beware, cause the Hammerman will be there. The more confident among us can openly admit to loving MC Hammer's one hit wonder song, You Can't Touch This. You can't touch this. Why are you standing there, man? You can't touch this. It was a great time. Fun was had. But for most fans, that was the end of the love affair with Hammer and his parachute pants. Somehow, though, he landed this children's show, which saw a cartoon superhero version of him solving crimes with a pair of magical dancing shoes. Stop! Hamilton. The theme song, performed by Hammer himself, is as ridiculous as the show's concept. In a far too long rap, Hammer tells the story of Hammerman and the magical shoes. He was given magical shoes from a hip hop Motown dude. The rap is jumbled, completely lacks rhythm, and unsurprisingly, isn't exactly lyrically compelling. Don't worry, Hammer, no one will touch this. Hammerman, Hammer, Hammerman, Hammer, Hammerman, Hammer, Hammerman, Hammer, oh yeah! Number 9, Scaredy Squirrel. There has to be some parent out there who's had a breakdown from hearing this theme song one too many times. Which is to say, they've heard it exactly once. Oh, yeah, 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 the theme song to this cartoon about a hyperactive squirrel and his skunk buddy getting into crazy situations down at the supermarket where they work is overly offensive to, oddly enough, jazz. <laughs> Tonally, the song doesn't speak jazz. Rather, it sticks to the classic upbeat overload of sound structure that many children's shows select. When the squirrel attempts to sing jazz, he coughs out nonsensical words in what we assume is an attempt to scat. It's a failure, and we're left listening to high-pitched dribble. This show is best viewed with sugar-free treats. Number 8, Star Trek Enterprise. Been a long time, but my time is finally near. The producers behind Enterprise wanted a Star Trek like none that came before, and unfortunately, they got it. Veering far from other Star Trek iterations, Enterprise chose to ditch the orchestral format for its theme song, and instead it went with Faith of the Heart by Russell Watson. I've got faith to believe. The song is fine enough for an adult contemporary grocery store soundtrack, but not for Star Trek. It's slow, deep, and most of all not very Trek, a franchise about wonder and exploration and the beauty of the expansive universe. I will touch the sky. Not gonna hold me down no more. No, they're not gonna change my mind. They tried to improve it for later seasons by upping the tempo, but it still fell flat. Every time fans heard Enterprise's inappropriate theme, they boldly went to another channel. Number 7, Happy Tree Friends. Surprise, surprise, another kid's show. Happy Tree Friends, a show that at first glance seems to be about cute little woodland creatures, but is actually deceptively violent and gory, opts for some high-pitched squealing as the primary musical element in its theme. Because that's what animals do, they squeal. 
Anyway, the theme song is about 30 seconds of extremely piercing high octave noises, set to a background beat of a tuba. The tuba is actually the least offensive part of the song, so well done tuba player. <laughs> Number 6. Elmo's World Stop this song! This is the thought, set to an unfortunate melody, that rolls through a person's mind when they're in range of Elmo and his tone-deaf world. <laughs> The show within a show is admittedly great for children, and plenty of people out there would concede to having a soft spot for the little red guy, but that doesn't mean the song isn't hard to listen to. It is at best annoyingly catchy, and at worst, it's akin to a hole being drilled in the side of your head. Goldfish and crayons are not enough to save us from this painfully irritating earworm. That's Elmo's Number 5. Alvin and the Chipmunks Brace yourselves. Even if you haven't seen the show, you probably know what's coming. Alvin and his pesky chipmunks achieved mainstream billion-dollar success with their film franchise. Yep, nobody does that better than him. And anyone familiar with the movies knows how heavily they're marketed through mainstream songs that have been put through a squeaky chipmunk filter. <laughs> Well, the show's theme song does the same thing, letting the chipmunks' squeaky singing voices take center stage. It's another example of a children's show opting for shrill vocals and up-tempo beats. We're not sure, but there has to be some science behind the formula, because it seems that every new cartoon out there is upping the ante on annoying themes. Number 4. The L Word Chicks driving fast on news with long lashes. Not introduced until Season 2, the hugely annoying theme song to The L Word has had several complaints lodged against it, but we'll start here. It tries too hard to be a James Bond song. Gold finger. The Bond themes work because, well, it's James Bond and it's part of the franchise's culture. To work elsewhere, everything needs to be just right. The L Word did not get it right, and that's because of the other issues. The show follows a group of melodramatic lesbians in Hollywood, and that's also what the vocals focus on. Talking, laughing, loving, breathing, fighting, fucking, crying, drinking, riding, winning, losing, cheating, kissing, thinking, dreaming. It inappropriately and stereotypically flaunts the characters' identities, resulting in a song that's actually fairly offensive to homosexuals. This is the way, it's the way that we live, it's the way that we live and love. Number 3. Animaniacs It's time for Returning to children's shows, we land on Animaniacs. While we're sure this tune has its fans, some viewers find the theme so bothersome because it feels like a circus tune. And you know what? It's designed to be annoying. Come join the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot. Just for fun, we run around the Warner movie lot. The show's three main characters, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, spend the song taking the viewer around the WB lot, explaining the hijinks they get up to. It's high-pitched, way too fast, and altogether too much. But hey, it won an Emmy Award. Meet Pinky and the brain who wants to rule the universe. Put feathers flock together, slappy wax them with her purse. Oh, here's something else you may not know. This show's executive producer, Steven Spielberg. You learn something new every day. Safety to the max, there's baloney in our slash. We're animating, totally insane. Number 2. Fanboy and Chum Chum What the heck is a Chum Chum? You know what, that's not important. We're here to talk about the show's theme song, and yes, it really truly earned the number 2 spot. 
An innocent whistle begins this song, but that's just the calm before the storm. Because then, Fanboy and Chum Chum break into a rap, and all hell breaks loose. These two nasally demon spawns vomit up lyrics about their underwear and getting a brain freeze. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. And then, you won't believe this, the song literally encourages its fans to scream at the top of their lungs. Do you even realize what you're doing to parents? Peaceful household no more. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. Something magic in the way you hold me in your eyes. Number one, Barney and Friends. Barney's friends are You know what's funny? Most people think that the Barney theme song is this. I love you, you love me. But the whole I love you, you love me thing isn't the real theme. Although it was used to torture POWs in Iraq. Won't you say you love me too? No. Barney's theme song is actually completely different. But don't worry, it's still super annoying. It landed the number one spot for a good, or you know what? bad reason. Barney comes to play with us whenever we may need him. The song, entitled Barney is a Dinosaur, is set to the tune of Yankee Doodle, which is offensive enough as it is. It sings of Barney, how he's a dinosaur, and all the fun he gets up to with the children. After school they meet to play and sing with happy faces. Let's just say that when this version of the show ended in 2009, we're happy the irritating theme song was retired along with it. Barney can be Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most annoying theme song out there? We had no script, my father, to rehearse. We had a maniac. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You know you love me. XOXO. Gossip.